Um, I get to work close to home, so I can ride my bicycle to work a lot of the time, which is really a charm. If you haven't tried it, I recommend it. Uh, being in New York City is great. It's where I live. It's my home. And, uh, getting to shoot around town is also just a charm. It's filled with incredible uh, crew. and uh, Yeah, we even shot in like, the Village Vanguard. Uh, yeah, all that stuff. Yes. Uh, what preparation did you do for the part? What, what <laughs> old footage did you watch, if any? Yes, no, there, there's a little bit of footage of, of Lenny. You know, there's one of him doing a stand-up routine oh, okay. a little later. There's the stuff that he did on Steve Allen twice. Uh, there's something he did with um, Hugh Hefner at uh, Playboy After Dark. Oh, it's just, you know, stuff like that was really good for uh, the physicality aspect. And then his book, is really illuminating just to get a sense of, you know, the, the person inside all of that. And then uh, his daughter Kitty has the unauthorized uh, book that's got a lot of photographs. And this summer I read uh, Kitty Bruce's book, which is very revealing. Yeah, so you should read it. Did you say the unauthorized? I can't remember. It's, I think it's called, somebody should Google it. Uh, Kitty Bruce uh, wrote it. I feel like unauthorized is it? Hello. 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 What did, how did you feel that Lenny Bruce's material held up? I presume you, you obviously watched a lot of it to prepare for the Sure. Work. What did you think of him and through, through a 2018 lens? How did his material hold up? Uh, I, you know, I've gotten pretty close to that sound, uh, I have found it sort of reveals itself more and more and the more I learn about the time, you know, a lot of his uh, references are specific to, you know, uh, gov he'll, you know, he'll name like governors at the time, things that I don't know, historical aspects, but all that has kind of, as, as I've learned more, it's gotten funnier and funnier. Um, I mean, there's, you know, I don't know, I really, I, I liked him before I got the job, so. I always thought he was kind of neat, and uh, yeah, I, he makes me giggle when I'm listening to him, which is, you know, often. Really great competition in there with you, Matt Damon, De Niro. What did you think of uh, people in your category? I love all of them. I mean, I, I really, truly am, am so uh, kind of not meant to be in uh, that category with them. Um, I, I absolutely adore Peter McNichol. I, you know, nobody's better than that. He kind of represents the best of, uh, of what actors can be. So, I, you know, and of course, you know, Robert De Niro, forget it. You know, um, all of them. Rufus, I, I know a little bit, and he's very sweet. And I, I have seen John Mulaney stand up. He's really uh, an exciting comic. Yeah. I love Matt Damon. Okay, thank you everybody, I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good night.